This is uh, Devak Shah from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today, uh, let's start and discuss about the basic component of electrical circuitry. There are three basic components of electrical circuitry. It's called resistance, inductor and capacitor. So, in our uh, primary uh, things like uh, uh, to survive in this uh, world we, we required a Ruti Kapra Makan. Same way to design electrical circuitry we required resistance, inductor and capacitor. So uh, if you uh, if you see there are various uh, uh, home appliances uh, like you have a microwave oven, television, freeze and uh, washing machine. All uh, circuitry or all home appliances you can use because of the resistance inductor capacitor. Now why is very important because to uh, to uh, make this kind of uh, home appliances at the scratch level you have uh, you required electrical circuitry. Now this electrical circuitry is made up of resistance inductor and capacitor. So all these home appliances uh, are operated on this electrical uh, because of this electrical circuitry where it consists of resistance inductor and uh, capacitor. So that's why these are the primary uh, components. Yeah. Now, uh, what we are going to do here, we are going to uh, uh, take resistance inductor and capacitor and uh, in a circuitry as a part of the circuit element and then we have to apply AC circuits or uh, sorry, we have to apply AC voltage or a DC voltage. So ultimately uh, in this unit, uh, we are learning about the DC circuit. So this particular resistance now we are going to, uh, we are going to connect in a circuit and then we apply uh, DC voltage across this resistance. So here you need to uh, check once you connect resistance inductor and capacitor under the DC biasing condition or other under the DC excitation condition, you need to check the behavior of resistance inductor and capacitor. So uh, in our first section, let's start uh, with the and check the behavior of resistance under the DC excitation. So that's why you can see here one of the uh, circuit where resistance is only the element in the circuit and you apply the DC battery a DC voltage. So once the current is going across this resistance, how it's going to behave under this condition, you can check here. So uh, these are the basic components, uh, how it looks like uh, in a uh, market once you uh, connect this components, this elements in a circuit, uh, it's look like like uh, resistance, inductor and capacitor. These are the symbols of uh, resistance, inductor and capacitor and these are the uh, units of resistance, inductor and capacitor. So uh, the unit of resistance is Ohm, unit of inductor is Henry and unit of capacitor is Farad. Right Now uh, once you uh, see this here, once you see this, uh, resistance is a passive element but it's very uh, it's like you apply a voltage it will simply drop the voltage but not this is the case with inductor and capacitor once you apply the voltage to inductor or capacitor it has a phenomena to charge and discharge so ultimately uh, capacitor and inductor are working with respect to time so ultimately this will give you a response with respect to time now uh, resistance has a symbol and it's a unit at ohm and uh, unit is ohm and uh, uh, you can see uh, once you go to market and buy the resistance it will look like this way now you can use this resistance as a circuit element now what's the use of this resistance you require this resistance because of uh, the voltage drop in the circuit and because of uh, it also regulates the current so ultimately this resistance would Will, will give you two important fundamental functions. One is it have a voltage drop and another it will flow the current through it. Because of the flow of current through it, you can regulate the flow of current. So this is this two important functions are very, very, uh, very, very useful uh, to uh, design a circuit. So here our ultimate aim is to design the circuit for those 
those kind of home appliances that we can use for the society so uh, for the for the society so ultimately you have to use the resistance to have a voltage drop and that particular voltage drop will drive your home appliances and as well as if you have to control the operation of your home appliances you need to control the value of current and that is also possible through the uh, by the value of resistance or by proper uh, choosing the value of resistance right so here you can see how you can use those uh, kind of resistance in a pcb or in a circuit diagram you can see this images now once you go in the market and you want to buy a resistance see this particular resistance is available in this form so you can see the image this particular resistance is available in a uh, market but once you go and uh, you once you go and ask anybody i want a resistance it's not simply you can get the resistance but you have to tell the value of resistance and that particular value based on the physical structure of this uh, resistance so if uh, for anything any object it must has the value of resistance and that depends on its used material and shape of this uh, object so here you can say the resistance is proportional to the length of this object as well as the resistance is inversely proportional to the area of this object so ultimately r is proportional to l and r is inversely proportional to area by that way if you solve this equation you will find r is equal to rho l by a so ultimately r is proportional to l r is inversely proportional to area so r is uh, proportional to 1 by area so once you solve this two equation you will find r is equal to rho l by a where l is the length in meter area uh, a is area in meter square and rho is called the resistivity now this is a very very important parameter because resistivity is nothing but the property of the material that can decide whether the this particular object has how much uh, is uh, that particular object is offering how much resistance so resistivity if you convert this particular equation r is equal to rho l by a in terms of the resistivity you will have rho is equal to r into a divided by l so ultimately the unit of this uh, resistivity is called ohm into meter right but in real world you need to understand that particular term as well and that particular term if you define where it's called the reciprocal of resistance is called a conductance so we define here conductance as g and the unit of conductance is mo or 1 by ohm right so ultimately from the resistivity you can also define the conductivity so conductivity is nothing but the reciprocal of resistivity right so it is a ohm by a meter and based on this conductivity you can now categorize all the materials in three forms or uh, it's a type of three forms one is called conductor another one is called insulator and third one is called semiconductor so based on this conductivity now you can uh, categorize those kind of material and based on this material you can use your uh, i mean you can further use this material based on the resistivity or offered conductivity Now, uh, uh, let's say we uh, enough talk about the resistance. Now, uh, let us discuss about the capacitor. So, this is the symbol of capacitor. The unit of capacitor is in farad, right? How it looks like once you go to the market and you want to buy the capacitor, it's look like um, this way, right? And if you want to use those capacitor in a circuit, you can see the following images, right? Now. what are the different function of capacitors so ultimately what is the function of capacitor why we use a capacitor so capacitor we use to store the energy in form of charge and that charge q is equal to c into v right so ultimately it is not a straight forward element why because it uh, it also changes the behavior with respect to time so ultimately once you use this capacitor you will have rate of change of voltage with respect to time so ultimately this will give you a most important terminology which is called dv by dt and that particular dv by dt we are going to use for the analysis of time domain uh, rc or rl circuitry right now so far our uh, next component is called inductor so this is a symbol of uh, uh, inductor this is a unit is uh, in uh, uh, henry and uh, once you go to market and uh, you can find this kind of uh, inductors is looks like this way and if you want to use in a circuitry you can see all the components you can use in a pcb right now what are the functionality of inductor so ultimately 
capacitor and inductor both will store the energy but capacitor will store the energy in form of charge but here inductor will store the energy in form of magnetic field so ultimately once we apply the current to the inductor it will produce magnetic flux around it and that particular flux is nothing but a kind of uh, magnetic field uh, uh, which is um, being stored in a inductor so ultimately uh, whatever uh, here current you apply that particular uh, current you will find the variation with respect to time so this particular inductor would give you a component uh, a very effective factor that is called di by dt so this uh, the capacitor will give you dv by dt and inductor will give you uh, di by dt that those two particular term terminology we are going to use uh, in our further circuitry right now same way uh, we forgot to discuss in a capacitor like energy stored in a capacitor w is equal to one half cv square while energy stored in inductor e is equal to one half l square so ultimately one half l i square so ultimately capacitor and inductor right uh, both uh, will will will, uh, will be have with respect to time of variation with the time or rate of change with the uh, time so ultimately uh, here the you know, capacitor would give you uh, uh, actually once you connect the capacitor in any circuitry and once you apply the dc that means the uh, voltage drop across capacitor that particular charge is nothing but is going to oppose the applied voltage so uh, this two important factor is very very uh, very uh, you know essential to analyze any circuit or to design any circuit which is dv by dt and di by dt right so this is uh, different um, sources you have to connect with the circuit let's say some of the dc voltage source and currents you can see here uh, there are symbols of the dc voltage source and uh, dc current source right same way you have a ac voltage and ac current source where you can see here the the symbols of ac voltage source and ac current source right now again there are a various part of the sources that some of the sources are independent sources right so uh, these independent sources are defined as uh, as here as a part of symbol and some sources are dependent sources that the sources itself depend on some other sources we can define as a dependent sources so th these are nothing but a various components various elements uh, that, uh, that can be involved in a circuit design um, thank you very much students if you have da uh, any doubt you can discuss uh, below uh, comments thank you very much thanks for your